and welcome to Out and About in Ireland on irishtv.ie. This week we are coming to you from beautiful Loch Coutre Castle here in Gort in County Galway. We're here for the Markel Castle Triathlon Series. Of course we're going to see the best of triathletes take part and those that are here for a bit of fun as well. We have some great music coming up in the show and of course great local stories. Now there's going to be no relaxing here in Loch Coutre today but for now you can relax, put the feet up as I take you out and about in Ireland. This is uh, the second year that we've run the Castle Triathlon Series here out in Ireland um, and it's the fifth year into the project so we set, set out our stall that we wanted to be a family friendly festival environment in triathlon and um, I think we've pretty much done that from what you can see here today so um, we're really chuffed with the, the turnout, it's double the numbers we had last year, we've got 350 competitors today um, and um, yeah so far so good even the weather's been kind to us. We decided to come to Ireland because I took a phone call from Rollo Gwyn jones who's one of the castle owner's sons. He's a very keen triathlete himself and uh, he's always wanted to host a triathlon here. He came and did one of our races in the UK and um, gave me a call and said, well, can you come to Ireland? I've got a castle out here and uh, can we put one on here? So I came out two years ago and did a recce and um, this is the, the, the net result. So thank God I took, I took the phone call. Now we wanted to make sure that um, the the young kids that are getting into the sport could come and compete over similar courses, not necessarily distances, but certainly have the same experience that the adults do. So as you'll see this afternoon, the children swim in the lake with where the adults swam, but um, much shorter distances. And then um, they cycle around the adult run route. So they stay on the estate, so everything's safe. And then they do a shorter run at the end, so, and they finish across the same finish line. So it is a, it's a lovely thing to, to watch and um, yeah, stay, stay around if you can. So in four weeks' time, we go to Chumley Castle, which is in Cheshire, um, and we do a very similar format to, um, to what we've done here, but um, we've got over a 1,000 athletes signed up to do that. So um, if there's anybody in Ireland that fancies a trip across to Cheshire in four weeks' time, then uh, come and see um, you know, a stunning, another stunning castle in stunning grounds. Well, today here in La Couture Castle for the triathlon, there is a massive international element. Of course, the Irish team are taking on the British team. With me now is the Irish team. Matt, tell me a little bit about your team you've got here today. Oh, we've got, we've got, um, we might be the underdogs, I think, actually. We could, but um, I think we've got a few tricks up our sleeves. I'm not going to reveal too much now, but I think we could give a few people a few surprises today. Amy, tell me a little bit about the life as an elite triathlete. What's the training like? Uh, it's hard every day, but um, it's good, it's enjoyable, and you get to uh, train and race with uh, your friends, and um, yeah, it's super, and then to come to places like this, it's, it's fantastic, so really looking forward to the race today, and um, hanging out with the guys has been brilliant, so. Yeah, and I suppose, Rory, we're here in a beautiful location. How does this compare to other triathlons so far? I mean, I think this tops it. I mean, it's hard to beat this first setting. Uh, the hard part is going to be racing the day and focusing on the opposition because it is, we wrecked the bike yesterday, we rehearsed the bike and it was pretty damn scenic so it's going to be, uh, it's going to be beautiful to do it. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, you've had a spin round this morning already? Uh, yeah, we had a look around yesterday and uh, yeah, it, I mean, it is just to get, a, get, get familiar with the course but it's, yeah, like I said, pretty amazing. Well, I know they're calling you to the starting line, folks, so we better let you off. The very best of luck. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Well, as I said, there's a big international element here today. Of course, the British team are taking on the Irish team. And with me now is the British team. Uh, Nick, tell me a little bit about your gang you've got here today. Um, we've probably got our best team from uh, Britain at the moment. So we're hoping to race really well and we're hoping for the win as well today. Fantastic. And is it your first time competing in Ireland? Yes, it is, yeah. So I'm quite. I'm, I'm just pleased that it's not raining at all and, uh, and it's a nice day, so I can't wait to get started, really. David, I suppose, tell me a little bit about the training as an elite triathlete. Um, well, we, we have to train around about 30 hours a week, so um, at the moment me and Ellie are students, Nick was a student, so it's been hard to try and do both, but yeah, it's, it means getting up at five in the morning, but yeah, so we, we enjoy doing it, so... 
And I suppose, Ellie, you probably take part in many triathlons every year. Yeah, um, probably, well, every weekend really in the summer. Um, obviously, over the winter, we don't tend to race that much. We do cross country and swimming galas and things like that. Um, but yeah, it's pretty jam packed in the summer. And is it your first time competing in Ireland as um, well? First triathlon in Ireland, yeah. I've done a cross country race a few years ago, quite a long time ago now, but uh, yeah, first triathlon. And how are you finding the experience so far? Really good, yeah, really enjoying it. Like Everyone's really welcoming and it's, it's been brilliant in the castle as well. And how do you fancy your chances today? You're up against the Irish team. I'm, f I'm personally feeling quite good, so I think we've got a good team. I think we're in, um, we're really um, fit as well. So, yeah, I, I do fancy our chances, so I'm hoping for that win. So, <laughs> fingers crossed. Very good. Well, we'll see you when you cross the finish line, guys. Thanks a million. Thank you, cheers. <laughs> My name is James Strong, I come from Surrey in England, 62 years age and I came here last year for the first uh, Lock Cutter Triathlon and I'm now here with the boys for the second year. It was, it was really good last year, a bit wet, but it's much better today. We go around the whole Castle series of events, I think there's five every year, one here, one in Paris, three in England, and we do them all. Yeah, I have to make sure I don't put on too much weight, train three or four times a week from February onwards right through to the end of September. I usually have December off, so I can eat a decent Christmas dinner. We've been doing this for five years. I've got about another year left, so when all my equipment packed up, that's when I retire. This is actually our second La Coutre triathlon. Cormac did it himself last year. He did the junior, the children's one. And um, he's had a number of heart surgeries um, from he was a baby. And just two years ago, well, three years ago at this stage, he got a new heart valve, which actually just let him head off then uh, sport-wise because prior to that he couldn't do sport. So last year he tried, he did his very first triathlon. Um, this year he doesn't qualify, as you can see, he's now almost 17. So he's doing most, so he's doing the swim and the run. It's a 400 meter swim, four kilometer run. And I, I don't know why I said it at the time, but I said I would do the cycle, which is the 20 kilometer cycle. So. That's us, that's our team, the McCann McCafferty team. Well, the hardest part is probably getting used to the water temperature around here, but a lot of running as well, just to stay fit, will even do you for most of it, or cycling as well. And how do you think you get on today with your mum and your team? Eh, good, yeah. It's handy not to have to do the swim, or the cycle that is quite long, so it'll be a nice break in the middle. We're the Lakutra team, Simon's the gamekeeper on the estate, his partner Bernadette, and I am a partner to Susie, who owns the castle. And uh, for better or for worse, it was my idea to have the triathlon here last year, and it's been a great success. We're a relay team. We yeah, yeah. bike, swim, run, and uh, we reckon that the main thing is to participate and fun. not yeah. compete and have some crack. And how do you think you're all going to get on today? Uh, well, I've actually been sick all week, so uh, that's going to be my excuse. But I actually have been the one training. You did a bit of training too. I've done a bit yeah. of training biking. I'm Simon a, I, hasn't been in the. I haven't been in the lake this year. Um, so if I do come out, that'll be a plus. <laughs> I suppose what's it like working in the castle and what's the atmosphere like today? The atmosphere today is great. Um, working in the castle, is it has its moments, but uh, I've been here going on 11 years now. So you uh, must love it. And exactly. Susie is a bit like a segregate mother to me sometimes. Uh. But uh, yes, I, I do, I love the place. We hope the numbers just keep doubling every year. Uh, it's gone up by 30, 40% this year. And we need you guys to put the word around and make sure everybody comes and participates in triathlon. There's 80 children this afternoon, which is truly stunning. So the sport's got a great future. It's lovely to have the castle open. We've got like probably a thousand people on site today. So families come and have picnics. Mm. There's a bar open later. There's um, live music. So it'll be a great crack for the whole day. One minute to start, one minute. I'm a friend of the family and uh, the, all the family are very keen on hunting and I got to know them from my hunting and it's a really sporting estate here, they just love the sport and they, they can swim on the lake and they, the, the horses are always on, on the estate and we, we've had hunter trials here before and the two lads, Rollo and Dominic, they're mad into their sport and they, Rollo did some, uh, a lot of competitive cycling 
and he just knew the person in England who was doing the castle um, triathlons over there and said, why not coming over here? So there's nothing like having a whole lot of people here on an estate, which is for sport. And the real reason here is because the people love the sport. And it's just mushroomed from last year. There's, there's twice the number of people here last year, and I think this could end up being one of the most popular long-time events you'll see in this country. I was uh, bringing photographers out in the boat so that they get a shot of the, of the swimmers with the, uh, the, the castle in the background to make some spectacular photograph, uh, photographs. And it is every single angle, every look here is a, is a paradise for photographers. There's a whole lot of um, uh, canoes and small boats out there and they're watching the swimmers and they're mainly watching the stragglers because the good swimmers are ahead and they don't need to be watched as much but there's a whole line of boats out there on the water making sure the swimmers are all comfortable and safe and of course this is a very safe place for it because there's no waves here and it's a good place to swim and it's, it's, uh, it's uh, fresh, fresh water and the, the lake is this clean, you know, it's a beautifully clean lake it's, and it's a, the lake is a thousand acres that's all part of the state. The settings are beautiful, you know, the castle's lovely and the bike course is fast and the lake is nice and calm, you know, the crowds are good, everything's good about it, yeah. Oh, it was great, I've never been on such a course before, the, the room was amazing, I was the perfect ideal training room, but yeah, it was amazing. The, the water was really cold though, I couldn't breathe for the first 700, but I got into it and yeah, it was good, yeah, really good. <laughs> quickly how was the course for you great 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 <laughs> well amy how did you find that great super course really challenging and um ellie's just coming in there behind so we had a good all race on the bike she was she was strong but I think I got her on the hills on the run, so cheers. So it was, uh, it was great, super event, and wow, what a, what a setting. <laughs> so we're from West Clare. Um, there's three of us here today. This is our second year up and running. Uh, the cycle's a bit tough, but the run was lovely, and the water's cold. <laughs> It was tough. It's a nice course. Um, the bike. I'm from here, so I kind of know the bike. So uh, it's a hilly course, and it's tough, but it's really enjoyable. Lovely run route. So I really enjoyed it. I suppose it makes the local people aware of the sports triathlon, and um, they see what it's all about. 
So it's great from that point of view. And yeah, brings uh, brings business to town. So yeah, it's, it's pretty good. We've come over here today for the uh, triathlon. Um, having a long weekend, long bank holiday weekend. Um, so uh, we just thought uh, make a nice break of it, enjoy the triathlon. We, we were originally going to do the Heber Castle triathlon in September, and then we found out there was a series, so uh, we decided to do all five. And uh, so I signed up for it and uh, managed to persuade uh, my daughter Megan to uh, have a go on the uh, children's races. So, uh, so I think she's looking forward to it. She's had a practice at the open water swimming, so I don't think she's too. Uh, um, to be put off by the cold water, so so it should be good. Yeah, it's been really well organised, there's been loads of people around, everyone's really friendly and you know, it's just really really nice to see and with the weather brightening up it was lovely. Um, so yeah, really, really good, lovely environment and beautiful castle. Now I know you're going racing soon, are you worried about the water? Well, it looks cold, <laughs> um, but um, I'm not that worried. He's a good swimmer, aren't you? Yeah. And do you think you'll find it hard running, swimming and on the bike? Yeah. <laughs> She'll sleep well tonight. <laughs> she sure will. And are you proud of Dad? Yeah. <laughs> well done. Thanks a million, medal. folks. Thanks. Well, with me now is Rollo Gwyn jones Rollo, I know your mum owns the castle here in La Coutre. How did you find the race today? Um, we had a great day for it. We had great weather. I think it held up really well. Um, couldn't really have asked for anything else. A little time penalty. Uh, some hay bale trucks. Got stuck behind them, but these things happen. I think everyone's happy, and that's the important thing. And why did your family, I suppose, decide to have the triathlon here? Um, I think um, I think the general impetus behind it was that uh, it's a, it's a great place for it. You know, if you, if you look out the lake, the swimming is amazing. We always used to do it as kids, and so um, it was kind of putting two and two together. It was uh, it was I, I'm really into triathlon, and I know that a few people put it forward that we should try and do it. And uh, one thing led to another, and we got Brian Adcock, who's head of um, tri Castle Triathlon Series on board, and he came over and he went, this is amazing. You should do it, I'm fully behind it. And um, one thing led to another, it sort of spiralled, and here we are two years later. I think everyone's really pleased to have uh, an international event happening in Gort. Um, I think that's a really good knock-on effect. Um, and it's a general sort of, I think, um, there's a bit of a trend with sports and taking on. I think it's a really good thing generally in a sort of, uh, in a sort of, uh, environment way and that people are getting fitter and getting involved in sports. I think it's generally really good. Fantastic. Well, Ronald, fair play to you. Well done. Thank and you. thanks a million for having us here. Much. It was a great race. Um, it was tough last year with the weather, but this year the weather was much better. But the swim was colder, so I couldn't feel my hands and feet coming out now. So it took a while to warm up on the bike, but no, great race, great race. And it's great to actually get a medal because you rarely get a medal in a triathlon, so it's great to get that, you know. We are here as a family, the Fahis, um, myself and my husband um, and our four children first triathlon for me so uh, the objective for today was just to finish the race and finish the triathlon which I'm delighted I did. <laughs> I didn't do a huge amount of training I'll be honest, a uh, bit of bike work, a bit of pool work as well but um, you know it's, it's, a, it's a lovely event actually to have taken part in because I, well, you know, I wasn't feeling serious pressure in the group we were in so it was just a case of you know <coughs> to go for the finish line and just you know stay safe. Uh, the kids are just registering for the afternoon event now so we'll be delighted when they pass over the finish line and i know i think it's your first one is it yeah and how are you feeling about it um, i'm a bit nervous but yeah i'm fine very good and what do you think about getting into the cold water um i don't think it's that bad i think the wetsuit will keep me warm and are you going to beat your brothers uh yeah <laughs> cool fc uh, uh did the bulk of the marshalling we had something like 30 people here from the club which was great and to have such a nice day, you know, meant a lot. So it was great that we could do so much for the community and, you know, for, for, for the triathlon. And it was great to see so many people here. Well, QFC, uh, we're a new club, quite a new club. We only started about five years ago. Um, we now have about five teams ranging from under 10s, under 11s, right up to a senior team. And we, we've been quite successful. We've, uh, one of the younger teams won a league last year and and the seniors won the league, so we're, we're, we're getting there, you know. We were all assigned to different areas. Uh, I myself was on the cyclone, which was out in the countryside, which is beautiful, and um, uh, the other people were involved in the running, and we still have some more to do today, so 
but I, I think we all enjoyed it. It was great to get out and you know do a bit for the community. You know, well, I suppose we li we lined a very cor colourful area as well, and a great tourism area as well. You know, as you look to the north here, we got the Borden, which is a very tourist attraction area, and be look right behind us here to the south of Slievakti. We lie between two great valleys and mountains here, and we're surrounded by trees here on a glorious day here in the month of May. You know, the year has been tough enough, difficult enough year this so far. But today here, we're here on a beautiful day today. We're crying out for events like that, something international, something to bring attention to the area, something to highlight the area, and you know the wonderful wealth we have here as far as tourism is concerned. And I suppose one of the most um, tourist attraction areas here is right behind me, like Outer Lake, and it's a lot of those tourist attractions are not utilised to the way that I'd like to see them utilised and hopefully in the future that they will be and it's certainly only with events like this coming to this area that we can really sell what we have and, and it's a great way of marketing the area. Well that is all we have time for here at La Coutre Castle Triathlon. I do hope you've enjoyed the show. Do tune in to us next Thursday at 9pm on Sky 191 Freesat 400 and online all the time at irishtv.ie Until next week, Sloan, August Bannock.